Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. My name is Evie and I read books and today I got you for you guys all of my physical unread books which are, I have no clue, around 30 or 40ish I think. Um, let's go start off with the ones that are on my August TBR. The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Richard Oseman's Thursday Murder Club, which is a mystery thriller, The Outsider by Stephen King, which is a thriller, and The Hawthorne Legacy, the second part in the Inheritance Games trilogy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is a mystery thriller. And this pile are the books that I have mentioned were the 10 books that I want to read before the end of the year. So Siege and Storm, the second one in the Shadow and Bone series by Lee Bardugo, which is a young adult fantasy. And then Velvet Was a Night by Silvia Moreno Garcia, which is adult literature, I think. Then we got Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco, which is a historical thriller, um, young adult historical thriller. The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss is also, I think, a thriller mystery, I think, young adult. I Kiss Chera Wheeler by Casey McQuinston, which is a young adult uh, contemporary romance. Postscriptum by Peter Aspo, which is an adult thriller. The Slaventocht um, by Bjorn van den Ende, which is a young adult thriller by a Belgian author. Later by Stephen King, which I think is an adult thriller. Then we have The Night in Question by Liz Lawson and Kathleen Glasgow, the second part in the Agatha's mystery thriller series, uh, Young Adult. Midwinter by Susanna Vermeer, a Dutch adult thriller author. Then I got three other books of the Team Mordes series, which is Stille Waters, Meisje van Glas, and Grafstemme, which is um, by Bjorn van den Ende, and it is, like I mentioned an earlier one, a young adult thriller series. Then I got Nothing More to Tell by Karen M. McManus, a young adult thriller. Put the Fire on a High by Elizabeth Acevedo, uh, I think an adult general fiction, contemporary maybe. Then we got Take Hint, Danny ba Brown, the second one in the Brown Sisters trilogy by Talia Hibbert, which is a contemporary romance, an adult contemporary romance. The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, which is the third and the last part, if I'm correctly, by the Inheritance Games trilogy. And we're almost at the end already, which is going quicker than I expected. But we have two of these series, and that is Fractured and Shattered by Terry Terry, which is the second, I think, and the third part in the Slated series. I have read the first one already. It's a young adult dystopian series. Then I got Kane's Jawbone, which is like a really small book, but it's like the pages are messed up and you actually have to try to find the mystery yourself. But like a lot of people have been trying this for like, I think decades even, and it just hasn't been working out yet. So I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to find a way like how it's supposed to go. Um, this, they're like literally uh, like an actual mystery. I have started this one once and I'm like, I have no clue which page belongs to which stories. So apparently there's like four stories in here that are all mixed and match and people are trying to solve this for like decades already and it just hasn't worked and um, I'm also not good at it. <laughs> then Zoon Opera by Peter Aspo, which is also a Belgian author and it's an adult thriller. And then last but not least, Wendler Smith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, which is the second one in the uh, Nevermore series, which is a middle grade fantasy series. So apparently it went quicker than I thought it would be. Um, these are all the books that I have unread currently. I have not counted them. I'm not planning on counting them. I am trying to shrink my TBR pile with like a little book deal that I have with my friend, which is I have to read five books before I can buy one, with some exceptions, like series and everything to complete them more, I could buy more of that, but I'm currently uh, still thinking this is way too many books to read. Uh, I do read a lot, so I'm, but I will never, I think, shrink my pile to zero. If I would, that would be amazing, because I would love to be in a place where I could just go back to the bookstore because my book is almost finished and I just need a new one because I have no other options, but I think that's an uh, ideal world. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below how many books you have unread on your shelf. If you see more of me, hit that subscribe button down below and I will talk to you soon. Bye!